Well, hey there, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Sarah. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Or, if you're just drawn to the title, that's fine as well. Make sure that you check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising signs so you can get a bigger and better picture of what's to come or get a better understanding of the situation. So, without further ado, let's just get into this. Scorpio, what do we have for Scorpio? Angel spirits and guides. I felt a little uneven whenever that came out, so I'm going to put it back. Oh, are you guys not trusting yourselves? I'm having a little hard time trusting myself in this matter. External about validation is what I'm wanting here for you guys, from you guys, but that's okay. The truth, yeah. Speaking the truth. Um, somebody might be speaking the truth towards you as well. We've got door to value. I don't know. I feel real. I feel weird. Like I'm nervous. Like it's my first time reading cards. There's victory in some endeavor you're taking here, though. <coughs> Excuse me. We're just gonna try to push that worry aside, and I'm just diving in, trying to dive in, guys. Angelic help, miraculous aid, and we also have Archangel Gabriel here. So. Worried about money, finances. Could be opening the door of value to yourself too. Yeah, opening up to your uh, authentic purpose. Some new inspiration coming in for you, Scorpio. Can we get a third card for this victory card? Integrity and compromise. Yeah. All right. On the bottom of the deck, I've got the hungry ghosts, obsession, scarcity, consciousness, and attachment. You guys are walking away from this stuff, definitely. Triumphant success and the truth of the matter. And there's some sort of lesson that you're having to learn around money right now. That's why you're in the position you're at, Scorpio. We've got the waiting game in reverse. It's like uh, no more waiting. Um, having a sense of integrity within yourself because you are a very wise person. And there are angels that are drawing very near to you at this time. We have accelerated motion in something. You might be sensing them. For those of you who are like in the middle of uh, resting, okay? If you're not moving forward, nothing's happening for you. You can't seem to get that job, the right interview, wondering why people aren't reaching back out to you. It's because there's this sense of needing to rest and replenish and uh, finding your own like inner compass, trusting yourself and letting your uh, spiritual aspect and spiritual sight come. It's becoming awakened. There's several things I feel like going on with a lot of sort of Scorpios here. Something about the white rabbit. Maybe you've been going down rabbit holes. Um, Alice in Wonderland. Maybe you're really intrigued by certain cultures or games are coming to mind too. Like old games they used to play back in the old days. spirituality, religions, just really like, um, even, you know, conspiracy theories, really diving into something. Experience the passion of fire. Reignite your life force by gazing into a cozy fire, recharging in the sunlight, or lighting a candle. Allow fire to spark your vision and vitality. So something is... There's inspiration and passion coming towards you. Something that you're going to be really driven. Like, it's like opening this door to value. You've been working on the value within yourself. And now you're like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I know spirit. The universe has got my back. 
and I'm ready to step out there and venture into the unknown and, and go down this road and see where it takes me. You're no longer afraid of like uh, doing it alone or on your own and you're you're trusting yourself and your decisions that you're making. You're definitely going to be trusting yourself better, Scorpio. Very much better. Very much better. <laughs> Ooh, opinions are the lowest form of a knowledge. Ooh, do not be thrown off by other people's opinions. Simply say, I appreciate your input and do what intuitively feels right to you. Especially when we're not asking for those opinions, right? But um, you might be one, one of those people who is, find themselves asking for outside input. And like you're no longer needing that external validation anymore, Scorpio. Going to pull a couple of cards out of here. Get some more on these. Three. Bow. The kangaroo. Unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. I'm noticing the baby in her pouch here, though. So I'm feeling like you've been kind of worried about your little ones and how you would um, take care of them. Uh, setting out on this path of yourself for yourself you might be feeling like you know oh well what if what if there's something that happens and I have to take away something from them like you're you could be worried about taking food out of their mouth so to speak like going down this venture this new path um, like if you knew you would be supported and money was not a factor what would you do right now also Scorpio the door is opening. There's light being shown upon something for you. It's new ideas. Maybe you're in the workforce and you're wanting to stay home and tend to the kiddos. But just know that you are completely and spiritually supported and guided. Just follow those inner, inner nudges, okay? Time to get out of a situation. So for some of you, there's a relationship that you have been... Thinking that you had to stay in because it was better for the kids to stay. And we've got honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Heart to heart conversations. But that was in reverse. And when I pulled that I felt like it was like uh, a lot of arguments happening between the two. Right now. A lot of negative energy exchange. <coughs> Let's see what these other two cards are. A younger man dealings a relationship with a younger man so you could be um butting heads with your your offspring here scorpio a journey either physical or mental so just know that we all have to take our own journey we all have to you know learn how to clean it up when we spill it out right spiritual guidance protected from harm and we also have the winged wise ones over here so your 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 kiddos are very spiritually protected okay and i feel like some of you guys already know this scorpio even with yourself you are very very protected it's a lot of fairies on this card i'm being drawn to fairies so you might even hear one of your kiddos say there was a fairy i saw a fairy Mm, regret I know that I cannot change the past and that was in reverse so you are not having any regret towards a certain situation and that's good that's really good you've healed from it and you've released it and you're seeing the door is open and you're seeing things from a different perspective like you're seeing instead of seeing being pessimist you're an optimist excuse me let's see what else we've got here um, final messages. I don't know. I guess these were just random messages, Scorpio. A warrior. That's what you are. Strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will. Heroism, stoicism, and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego. So you're not letting your ego put fear into you about situations or the road ahead. You're no longer listening to it. The shadow attributes, which this could be somebody, a Scorpio, um, this could be someone you're dealing with. Uh, trading ethical principles for victory at any cost. Indifference to the inflicted, to the suffering inflicted on others. So you could be dealing with a very selfish, manipulative individual. But you're learning to guard yourself. You're learning to like brush past it as well. 
hedonist. I'm not sure what this means, but it says inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life, celebrates the beauty in yourself. Exactly, Scorpio. You guys are like seeing the beauty like time is too short to be in this state of worrying and what ifs and shoulda, coulda, wouldas, right? The shadow attribute says pursues pleasure to the detriment of health and dodges indulges at the expense of others again that's tying in with this card on this on the shadow attribute that could be you know what you're seeing in this younger energy here maybe it's a younger sibling you know or maybe it's a son maybe it's a grandson nephew you know co-worker it's different for everybody and then we have servant delight in serving others with a free and loving heart using the lack of money as an excuse not to move forward so in the beginning, I had said, if you knew what you would so do, if, <laughs> let me just calm down here a second. If you knew what you wanted to do and you would be supported. Oh my gosh, I can't freaking word this right. Mercury retrograde, man, not its finest right here, you guys. If you could do anything, if money was not a factor and you knew there were tons of people around you rooting you on, cheering the positives towards you and projecting all that positive energy and what you're wanting to take steps towards what would it be because you can't use the lack of money anymore to move forward in your life it's like you're opening up and you're seeing the abundance around you uh, maybe you don't have a whole basket of different kinds of fruits but maybe you have a can of pears in your cabinet or a bag of grapes in your fridge like that's more than some people have in their life in their households right you're coming back to integrity, though, Scorpio. Ooh, you got this, though. This is what you're working around is the finances and how you're viewing money. Because money is a very benefiting factor here on the Earth plane. It helps us, you know, take the vacations and do the things we want. It helps us create happy memories with our families, right? All right, the cycle is ending though. There's a new cycle coming around and you're going to start noticing this around this money cycle. Scorpio, this is all I have for you. I hope it helps. I hope it resonated. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button for me. It's greatly appreciated that you help me grow. I thank you so, so much. Love and light.